Repairing jittery Atari 2600 pedal controllers. You're first going to want to take the controller apart. The pot I'm going to use is a readily available pot from Radio Shack. It's a 1 mega ohm linear taper potentiometer. Radio Shack port number 271-211. And this is what the pot looks like. It's going to, have to be modified in order to uh, go into this case. But they do work rather well. Here the paddle controller has been taken apart and I've already unsoldered the old jittery pot, the original one from Atari. The yellow wire here, that's the 5 volt supply. The red wire is a signal back to the Atari. On the player 2 potentiometer, the yellow wire again is the 5 volt supply and then the purple wire is the signal wire going back to the Atari. Now it's time to modify the new pot. You'll notice the threaded area on the old pot is much larger than on the new pot. So in order for this new pot to work we have to compensate for that. We'll lay the old pot down on its side, put the new pot next to it, line up the top of the threads of the new pot with the top of the shaft of the old pot and then you're going to want to mark with a felt tip pin on this shaft at the top of the threads of the old pot. Here the top of the shaft has been marked so I'm cut out my half moon. When using the Dremel tool cutting on this pot, make sure you have a, a heat sink on it to prevent damage to the pot. Here's a set of uh, crimpers as a heat sink when I'm cutting. Here's the finished pot with a half moon shape cut into it. Next I modified the paddle housing I ground down the central area here and I made a little hole for the locating tab for the new pot. There's the new pot soldered into the harness, ready to reassemble. Here's the new pot mounted in the paddle housing. And here's the completed paddle assembly. Much smoother now. No glitches at all. Oh.